Hey, what's up, everyone? It's TK here. TKRDS and fall is arriving. That falls in too, but happy about the weather. Anyways, Zone 100, episode 8. Thoughts and review. Um, I've been anticipating my girl Beatrice. Beatrice has made her anime debut. Um, so she's from Russia, I believe. Um, and she has love for Japan. So episode pretty much starts out with um a cure heading to his hometown when they see a truck pretty much kind of in the ditch and they was finna help out the person in the ditch until someone in some samurai armor comes out badass killing all these zombies then we got the face reveal which is my girl Beatrice like I said um in other reviews Beatrice is my favorite character in this uh this series I know I read the mangas um, and I actually have a good idea of the rest of the episode's going to be. <clears throat> I haven't read the mangas in a while. But I didn't remember was... I didn't remember the past two episodes. Like, I was just... Left myself to be surprised. I didn't go back and read the other mangas. But the, at this point on for it, I have a good memory of what's going to happen. And got some nice, juicy stuff coming up. So stay tuned for the rest of the episodes for this season. I think the finale is probably going to be when this real juicy stuff uh, starts to kick in. Um, but it's going to get really interesting. Um, but anyways, um, did a little freaking r- ramble. Um, so yeah, um, Beatrice, she's coming out with the truck and armor. She's killing these zombies badass style. And um, she introduces herself to the gang. Um, she's telling them that she's trying to deliver this fish to the sushi place because she's trying to eat some sushi. And she kind of explained her whole, like, when she arrived in Japan, it was already pretty much an apocalypse. And uh, this is one thing she's really wanted to do. She wants to eat some sushi. So she's trying to deliver uh, these fresh fish to someone she knows that's in Japan who has a sushi shop. So uh, they, they uh, come up with a plan to kind of... Uh, well, they was, they was going into the town, and they kind of got a little situation going on with zombies. So they uh, devised a plan to kind of uh, direct the zombies in one spot and pretty much light their ass on fire. Um, so they did that, but uh, things didn't go all the way according to plan. And they had to... Um, wait, hold on. I'm kind of skipping ahead. Well, anyways, they, they did what they did there. They end up getting the sushi. Then they go into the other part, which is the hot springs part. Um, yeah, I'm trying to place a place. But anyways, yeah, they, 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 did, they did a little plan. They had a little complication, but it was able to get their sushi. Um, then we go into another chapter of the manga, which is the hot springs, which is uh, they try and just soak in some nice hot spring and relax. They haven't had a bath in a while, too, a nice hot shower, so they're trying to relax in the hot spring. And um, they go to a hot springs place. Um, no real trouble at that point until Akira and uh, Kenjo get into the men's hot spring bath. And the girls found out the girls' water wasn't working, so they couldn't get no, no uh, hot water there. But it turns out there were some zombies in the carriers, well, in the man's hot springs. So they end up taking off, running, uh, they end up climbing up a cliff, kind of trapped for a while because hell of zombies came out the the hot spring and they was pretty much just trying to wait out until things clear up and they could continue on with the adventure. Um, but they pretty much slept on, on top of this cliff. Akira wakes up, Jizuka is missing. He doesn't really notice that right there. But if you watch it, you should know that she's not right there with him. And he wanders on in the woods and he hears some water. He gets into this hot spring that was a, was a natural hot spring. So he gets into it, he accidentally bumps into Jizuka. Uh, a little awkward moment, but they work things out for both of them to enjoy the hot spring. Uh, Jessica opens up to Akira a little bit about her past, her upbringing, things of that nature. And the episode ends with uh, Kenjo and Beatrix finding both of them in this natural hot spring. And then they all hop in and enjoying that nice hot spring in a cold night. Well, I'm, I'm guessing it's a cold night. But I really enjoyed that 
that chapter, I remember when I first read that these two chapters, when we meet Beatrice and the Hot Springs stuff, I remember uh, reading it and really enjoying it. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall, good episode. Um, it's, it's pretty much spot on with the manga. I keep saying this, it's spot on with the manga. Um, I don't got that much else to say about it. It looks good. I like I like the art. Again, the music, the soundtracks they playing is is going with it. With the scenes, it's flowing right. It's in the moon, the tone. So very good. Question: Zone one hundred people, the Twitter people, or whoever released episodes. Why are y'all deleting episodes every other week? Last week they didn't even give out a tweet. They just didn't say nothing. And I was like, oh, no episode this week. I wonder why. I wonder why they dropping episodes every other week or so like that. I wonder why they schedule us like that. I wonder. Hmm. Maybe some holiday or something there. But anyways, overall, episode eight was a uh, sushi of the day and spa of the day, I believe, or something similar to those to that. Um. But yeah, next episode is Tree's House, Tree House of the Dead. This is when Akira is pretty much they they're, they're getting closer to their I mean to his hometown. I think they actually might enter their hometown on this episode that's coming up here. But uh, next few in fact, next few episodes coming up is going to be interesting. Um, we're going to see the the fam, probably, I think, might be this episode coming up maybe or next episode. Um, so other things gonna happen, some drama, some conflicts, but things are gonna get a little juicy here. But anyways, overall good episode. This is my favorite anime of the season, along with uh Dark Gathering. And yes, I'm bringing up my phone. What else is what else is a good one? Dark Gather yeah, Dark Gathering and Zama Hundred. Then we got some returning ones too. Returning animes. Like I told y'all, the job was reincarnation. Which has been really good. That's gonna wrap up next week. And actually we've been watching that temple one. If you watch my how this in the season videos I usually do every season. Fall season is coming up, so I'm gonna do a video going through all the animes and talking about that. But anyways, I'm I'm done rambling on. Thanks for tuning in. Leave your thoughts and comments down below if you want to. Zone 100, episode 9, maybe next week, maybe the week after that. I don't know, because they drop the episodes every other now and then, every other week. So I follow the Twitter page. Sometimes they tweet stuff, sometimes they don't. But, uh, yeah, TK, T -R -D -S, uh, subscribe to me on here if you want to. Give me a like, don't be stingy with it. And uh, check my other videos. I've been doing gameplays and all this other stuff uh, this past month. And I'm finna actually stream at the upload this video, so I'm going to be playing some Mega Man. Tune in if you want to. But anyways, TKRDS, till next time. Thanks for tuning in. Adios. Sarnar.